Thank you for joining us for our series for supplier inclusion professionals. This is a three-part best practices series, and we're talking about outreach, onboarding, and opportunities. So here is outreach part one. Best practice is to respond faster. Some of you meet hundreds of people at each event that you go to, and I have no idea how you're able to keep up with that number of people. But what I have for you is a suggestion that makes it easier for you to respond to those who are you who you are most interested in and you don't want to lose them because you're unable to see them in your inbox or for whatever reason you're unable to respond to them uh, right away so this is an easy hack that you can do and that is to create an auto text with your response so i want to differentiate some people, some companies already have an autoresponder attached to their supplier diversity inbox. So that way when somebody emails you, they automatically get an email back saying, thank you, please log into this database, please register and all the steps that you have for them. I'm talking about a little bit more personal for those companies who you are really interested in working with, who you told respond to me uh, on, at this time, include this in your subject line, follow up with me at this point. For those people who you don't want to miss out on, you can create an auto text that allows you to just simply type in a word, whatever phrase you choose, and then have a, a paragraph pop up that says specifically, I enjoyed meeting with, meeting with you. That project is under discussion. Please reach out to us in 60 days. That kind of response to somebody you're interested in makes a huge difference. And I'll say that again, that type of response to somebody that you are interested in makes a huge difference because not only do they hear from you directly with directions, but it, it prevents them from sending you that second follow-up email saying, did you receive my first one? The, the next email, did you receive my first one? The call, did you receive it? You know, that's like four or five different touch points that you now have eliminated because you simply just sent them emails saying, contact us in this time frame. And I'm going to show you exactly the step-by-step -step in terms of how do you create this auto text in Outlook. It's extremely easy to do, but it is just a big time saver. So a way to stay engaged with those companies that you are most interested in meeting with, but just don't have the time to respond adequately, just send them that little note. It keeps you top of mind. They, t they make a record of when they need to follow up with you again, and it just makes it much more efficient. That's our best practice for outreach, and that is to automate your response. If you're not sure what I'm referring to when I say auto text, let me give you a quick demo. Let's say there are three types of vendors that you meet at your event. The first group are people that you are really interested in and you wanna make sure that you do not lose their interest. The second group are people that you want to give information to give them links and some other content to, to act upon. And then the third group are people who you just want to give general information to so that way they can register in your database, but you don't have a specific need for them right now. You can create auto text so that way you can easily just copy and paste that information. And it's not even copying and pasting. That information is already there for you. So for example, you open up an email in Outlook. Go to insert at the very top here. You have the different ribbon options. Go to insert and then under quick parts down here, over here, over here, go to quick parts, click on the drop down, and then you have auto text. I've already set these up. So we have different versions. One is to say your information has been received. Another one says, I really enjoyed meeting you at the event. Let's talk. Another one says, um, I do remember meeting you. Here are some steps for you to do. You can copy and I mean, you can create your own content and then save it as an auto text. So this is how easy it would be for you to respond to a vendor. Click it and then you hit put, put the subject line in and then have it go. And you can even save the subject line as an auto text as well. So it's easier for you to copy and paste it. Let me just show that to you one more time. So you are in an email and you want to tell, tell this vendor who sent an email to you that you do remember them and that you want them to do these steps. So here it is. I do remember meeting you. Did you register in the database? Here are a few links. Let's say that you want to tell somebody else a different message to say, your information has been received. Don't forget to register in our vendor database. This just makes it more personalized for you to send a response back to 
the hundreds, if not thousands of emails that you receive all the time from vendors checking on their status. So you simply create an auto text. The way that you do that is that you type in the information that you want. Hello, my name is, boom, boom, boom. whatever it is that you want. You just highlight that text, go to insert. We already have that right now, but insert quick parts and then save selection to quick part gallery. So it's insert, click on quick parts, save selection to quick part gallery. Once you do that, you can rename it. So whether it can be, hello, my name is, or uh, outreach event, follow up, whatever it is that you wanna name it, you save it, choose, uh, save it under auto text. So whatever you wanna name it, save it under auto text. And then you can put a description if you need to, but I just go and click okay. So now when you go back to your auto text, your quick part auto text, it will be available to you. All right, so this is just a quick time saver, a way for you to engage vendors without having to start and write a whole email in response to what they said. You can create a couple of different templates, have them available to you, and just save hours each month by creating that more personal relationship with the vendor as opposed to a typical autoresponder email uh, that just says uh, generic information.